Hi there, uh, this is the chapter 11 notes uh, for matrices, um, part one. So matrices one and matrices two is chapter 11, chapter 12. So um, matrices is the square or rectangular kind of brackets with the numbers in, in, inside. Um, the columns are the vertical values, rows are the horizontal values as we see column two and row two. We can say a specific location um, by saying row number first and then column number second. So for example, row two um, and then column three would be number six. Um, this notation, you, you need to know that. That's very, very vital. Order of the matrix is the number of rows times the number of columns. For example, this has got two rows, three columns, six elements. So that's how we can work out our order is a two by three matrix. Placing our uh, matrix in the calculator, if we go to our calculator here um, and go to the main menu, if we go to keyboard and then go to math 2, there's all these buttons here. So we can add square matrix matrices, um, you can add columns, double click to make them longer, double click to make them wider, that sort of stuff. So uh, you should be pretty familiar with putting those into your calculator. So you can make um, any combinations using these buttons. You can also name your matrices um, by pressing this arrow, which can be located right here on, on any of these Math 1, Math 2, Math 3. It's always in this top location. Um, and then using a capital letter. So make sure you use capital letters when you're naming matrices. I think that sometimes it's beneficial to name them if you're going to be using them multiple times. However, you probably don't have um, the most amount of time to be labeling every single matrix you make. So only label them where you feel it's going to be necessary um, in your exam. Um, just a hint, it will always stay that label until you change it. So if we label this matrix A and then you're going to end up using A later, you need to make sure you change it because it's still going to be um, listed in your memory as the previous matrix. Transpose of a matrix is we, we switch the rows and the columns around. So looking at it as um, the letters is the easiest way. So um, our columns become our rows, as you can see, and that's denoted with um, to the power of T. So if you see that to the power of T, it means that your rows, rows and columns, they switch. Um, vertical becomes horizontal if you want to remember it that way. Um, how to transpose on your calculator, there's, um, a, there's a way here, but it's quicker if you can just do it by hand. Types of matrices, so page um, 367 to 368, some square matrices have particular pro uh, properties. So if we have a look here, it's page 367 to 368, there's diagonal matrices. Um, if we keep going down, we have identity matrices symmetric matrices, triangular matrices. So knowing what these are, um, very, very important. I assume you probably have them on your resource notes, um, if you can remember them even better, but they may throw a left field question um, in your exams using just these, like identify symmetric matrix, that kind of thing. So knowing you understand that's very important. Representing um, uh, information from a table into a matrix, matrix, matrix. Um, pretty straightforward. Make sure you, you, you're labeling um, to help you along what, what those columns and what those rows are. So there's an example with um, agenda and um, some information with values. We can um, also um, show a, a diagram um, in the form of the matrix. So one being that it's directly connected to. So um, one is directly connected to two. Uh, if there was a circle coming back, then 1 to 1 would be 1. So 1 to 4, however, uh, 1 to 4 is a 0 because it's not directly connected. So in this case, we're not talking about steps, we're just talking about directly um, connected. Um, and there's some information there. So A11 joined to itself is, is, is a 0. Uh, matrix arithmetic. So when we're adding matrices, you specifically add the locations together, 1 and 5, 2 and 6. So you add them together and they just join. Um, when we come to multiplying, we can multiply single matrices. So if we have that uh, A matrix, we want to make it 3A. You just multiply each of those locations by, by 3.
if it was four, multiply each of the locations in the matrix by four. Subtracting matrices, um, same process as addition, however, you use subtraction. So it's position for position. So you, you just do a subtraction instead of an addition. So products, which is multiplication. Uh, before you can multiply any two matrices, you first need to check to see um, if the answer is defined, meaning is it going to work? So we've got our, our order here, so we've got a two by two matrix and a two by three matrix. The two inside values must be the same. That's the key. They must be the exact same value for it to be defined. Then, if those are the same, the two outside mate, the numbers tell you what the new matrix is going to be, what size it's going to be. So in this case, the, the answer to this is going to be a two by three matrix. So now, how to multiply these matrices. Um, if you go to um, Compass, so if we go to Compass, in here, under Resources, Matrices, um, look, I've got some information here. However, before this was made, if you go back to links to content from Unit 3, there's examples of how to multiply 2x2 um, two two and 3x3 three three matrices, matrices in the old um, Compass resources, so back from Unit 3. This is the Unit 4 um, information. So if you go to links to content from Unit 3, there's uh, YouTube videos of 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrices, which are very, very helpful. So... Um, the way you can identify it is you are multiplying the, the first matrix, the rows, by the columns. So if you look at the first row, a 1 times 5 and a 2 by 7 goes to this location. Then you do a 1 times 6 and a 2 by 8 goes to the second location. Then you do the second row, 3 by 5, 4 by 7 goes to the third location and three by six and four by eight goes to the fourth location. So if you can go row for column, row for column, and then do the second one, row for column, row for column, you, you can get to your matrix pretty pretty easily. Can be confusing, but if you do come up with a set way um, that you can remember, whether you underline or you circle or you highlight, something that allows you just to remember the, the process of the multiplication. Or you can just chuck it into your calculator really quickly and just do these matrices with time symbols, press equals, comes up with the solution. Um, so as I said, there's two, there's two videos on Compass that you can watch for multiplying 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrices. Once again, um, you can just place any of the matrices in your calculator, do the, the problem, whether it's put a little square up the top or do A times A, you can definitely do that in your calculator and get you to the answer very, very quickly. Now, um, this one here does pop up quite often on exams. So whether you're summing the rows or the columns um, in matrices. So if you want to sum all your rows, so sum up all your rows, you post multiply by a matrix, which is vertical ones. If you want to pre, if you want to sum the columns, you want to pre-multiply by um, a horizontal matrix of just ones. So we can sum um, our matrices these ways. They do um, give you questions on the exam which use this process, but they're not necessarily going to say sum the rows or sum the columns. It will be um, find out which one's more dominant, that kind of thing. So you would multiply, um, post multiply by a matrix of ones. Displaying simultaneous equations, um, in chapter 12 notes, I'll go through how to solve these on your calculator. But it's pretty simple. The first matrix is all the positions of the numbers uh, of in, in the equation, not, not the 5 and the 2 here, just all the ones with the variables. So if there was a Z, it goes X, Y, Z. So you go 4 and 3 is there, 2 and 2 is there, and if there was a Z, you, Z would be your third variable, would be your third um, column in the matrix. Your second matrix tells you all the variables you're using, so X, Y, and if there was a Z, it would be a Z down the bottom. Equals the answer to the two or the three equations simply placed there. So that's how we can display them in exercise 12. Um, there is, I'll go through how to solve those on your calculator. Binary matrix and permutation matrix, um, definitely knowing 
what, what these matrix means only has ones and zeros in it and a permutation matrix only has ones in um, only one row and a column so the, there's no double ups of ones in columns and rows once and one step matrices and two step matrices uh, there is a really good video on compass so if we go back to compass um, on YouTube one and two step dominance really 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 um, valuable video to understand what actually it means by having a one or two step dominance so a one step dominance shows a direct dominance meaning um, directly related so for example um, is A beating B, is B beating A, that kind of stuff. So this one here shows that A beats B. So that's what the one represents. The B does not beat A. So this one's represented by zeros. We read um, the vertical first. So that means the side here. So what I mean by vertical is here. So you're going from this side and then to the top. So A beats B. So start from there to there. Um, calculating dominance, you can add up the rows. So you add up, up the rows across. And we can see, even if we had A, B, C, D, E, the highest value that's added up across is the most dominant. Two-step dominance. Um, to get to a two-step dominance, you square the one-step dominance, um, and then we can work out total dominance by adding that first um, one-step dominance and the two-step dominance together. And we add up all the rows of this new dominance matrix. What a two-step dominance actually means is um, are you beating someone who has beaten somebody else? So I don't want to confuse you by going through into this. Watch that YouTube video. The information in there is very, very, very helpful. And it goes on to talk about communication matrix as well um, that will be um, looked at in Chapter 12. But I can't stress enough. Um, have a look at the um, video on YouTube. Thank you.